Hey everybody, hope you had a good weekend. Happy Sunday, I'm Maria Lucci, your BFF, checking in for your news report. Our hearts and prayers are with the people affected by the horrible hate crime that happened in New Zealand. A shooter opened fire, targeting two mosques and killed 50 people on March 16th. This is their deadliest mass shooting in history. Now reported on CNN, the gunman is identified as 28 year old Brenton Harrison Tarrant. He's an Australian citizen and has been charged with murder. Police found an 87 page filled with anti immigrant and anti Muslim ideas. Now, Tarrant appeared in court, and a news source claims he flashed what appeared to be a white power hand signal. He entered no plea to one count of murder. Police say he will face more charges. They also believe he was a lone shooter. He's due back in court in April. Our hearts and prayers are with the victim and anyone impacted by this horrible event. And tragedy struck Milwaukee after police found the body of two-year-old Nolani Robinson. Now, four days prior, an Amber Alert was sent out for her, and on that same day, her mother was killed. Police believe it was at the hands of her boyfriend, Darius Higgins. Authorities also believe that he is the one who killed two-year-old Nolani. The district attorney filed charges against Higgins for first-degree intentional homicide, use of a dangerous weapon, and first-degree reckless endangering safety. And NYPD is hoping that they can identify a dead man's body that they found in Brooklyn waters by these distinct tattoos. The decomposed remains were spotted floating off Brooklyn Army Terminal near 58th Street and 2nd Ave in Sunset Park. The medical examiner's office is trying to determine how the man died. Police are hopeful that the tattoos will lead to clues. And in the entertainment world, prayers up for Lil Durk's 24-year-old cousin who was shot and killed. He was also an upcoming rapper in Chicago. He was known as Lil Mister. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, he was shot in the head and police don't have any suspects yet. They are ruling it a homicide and are investigating the situation. YBN Almighty J is making a recovery after getting robbed, beaten, and even hit in the head with a Hennessy bottle during an attack in New York City last week. According to several reports, the group of attackers has been arrested, but not for the robbery of YBN J. Four members of the crew, known as the Jack Boys, were taken into custody due to a federal investigation in the attempted murder case of an off-duty NYPD officer. They were questioned about attacking YBN and Jay, but denied any involvement. But Jay claims he didn't know any of the men who robbed and attacked him. Big congrats to Ray J, whose Raycon Electric Company made 10 million in the first year. Ray J tested the waters in music, acting, TV hosting, and now technology. He launched Raytronics, selling scooters and smartwatches in 2017. He landed a $31 million redistribution deal and then relaunched Raytronics to Raycon. According to Billboard, this was definitely a smart move. And Please Me by Bruno Mars and Cardi B lands at number one on the R&B Billboard chart. Shout out to them. And this one woman faked her own death and kidnapping because she found out her boyfriend was poor. A 37-year-old woman from China was recently arrested for faking her own kidnapping and murder in order to avoid having to break up with her boyfriend. After finding out he was poor, she took to desperate measures to get out of the relationship. She sent fake texts pretending to be her kidnapper, but later on, police found her alive and well. That was a funny story I heard all day. Oh, man. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Maria Lucci. That's your BFF check-in.